go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to do um, essentially um, square knots. All right. Now uh, here I've got a needle holder in my right hand, a needle here, and a pair of forceps. Now the first thing is notice that this needle at the moment is in a safe mode, I would call it. A safe mode is the way it's been given to me here. Uh, it, it's safe because now the tip is actually unlikely or less likely to injure anybody, myself or people around me. So, and the way you make a needle safe, uh, let me just put it the way you should be during usage, okay? So the way you make a needle safe is you basically swivel it so that the tip is touching the body and then you click like that, okay? And that's just, a, so you need to get into a habit of as soon as you've finished using the needle, you quickly make it safe before you proceed to the next step. So you never leave the needle active like so because it can cause in injuries to others, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, we've got a here a, um, a model here, uh, which we've created, uh, empty uh, box of gloves here with a, a cheap glove here over it. And I'm gonna do a single uh, suture here, all right? Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, we've already seen how to handle these instruments. I'm not going to repeat that, but you might want to watch the, the previous video. Uh, but the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to come here and take my first bite. Now, the first bite, now look at, look at my wrist, okay? The wrist is rotating, okay? And you need to think about the shape of this needle and how it's going to glide through the tissue. Now, if I want to take deep bites of this tissue, I need to naturally go more of a right angle, okay, like that. But if I wanted to take a superficial one, I go less of an angle. And you can just, you can see how by going more tangential, you take a thinner bite of the tissue. If you want to go thicker, you just need to go almost at right angle. And the way you make a right angle is by, by uh, uh, is it pronating? Pronating your, your hand, okay? That's supination, isn't it? if I remember, and that's pronation. Um, so, uh, so there it is. So I'm gonna take my first bite. So there is my first bite, and then I come out. Now, what I'm not gonna do here is I'm not gonna, ooh, so there is, so let's just ignore that one. I'm gonna come here. Not a very good model there, is it? I'm gonna come here, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate the same thing maybe here, okay? So there it is. So I'm just gonna go in here and take the first bite there, all right? Now notice that I'm not going to grab the tip here because the tip, if it's cutting needle, you don't want it to be damaged. Essentially, it's best not to touch the tip of the needle because if the tip of the needle gets damaged, the subsequent suturing can be affected because then you've got a raggedy kind of damaged uh, piece of metal that is going to create more scarring for your next kind of go uh, for your next suture, okay? So now I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to bring it out like that, okay? And at this point, I'm just going to grab it there, there. Now I'm just going to pull it till I've got a reasonably short tail left here, okay? Like that. Now, I want you to visualize here now what I've got here is essentially a V, isn't it? There, right? There. So I'm holding it like that and I've created a V. Now this instrument always sits inside the V, not outside, that's critical. Inside the V, all right? If you just remember that, inside the V. My left hand, I'm, I'm right-handed, so my left hand is on the left side and this is in the middle. Now I'm gonna do the, my first throw like this and stay on the left. Then I'm gonna grab the thread there. Now my left hand now is going to move to the right like this. Now can you see that? Not there. Looks nice, doesn't it? It's sitting nicely there. There. Now my left hand stays there and again I've now got 
a new V this time again. You see this? My left hand stays, and again, this stays inside the V. You see? Can you see that V there? This is not there, but inside the V. So again, I do my throw there, and I come and grab this. And again, my left hand now, which was on the, I'm now on the right side, needs to come back to where it was before. And you see that? That's what I would call a square knot. And then you tighten it there, all right? And you can actually carry on doing this now, if you require that. So you see, you go in the middle, you go in the middle of this V, inside the V, not outside. If it's outside, it will not be a square knot. It needs to be inside, and then you go over it, and then you grab. The hand on the left side now goes to the right, like that. And again, here's a, there's a V again. This stays inside the V, and it comes there like that. And then I grab, notice my left hand stays on that right side, and then now move the opposite direction like so and that way I'm ensuring that I'm, I'm creating these sutures which are square and they are much less likely slipping all right